Now let's see what Jessica Choksi has in store with this week's motor news. For a few days every year, the cars become the stars under the glitzy lights of the Los Angeles Auto Show. And with LA being the party town it is, two of the biggest unveilings happened in pure Hollywood fashion. One was the North American intro of the Infiniti M, which made its global debut at Tokyo as the Fuga. The new generation M has more fluid styling, a 420 horsepower V8, and a bounty of technology upgrades. Another Tinseltown shindig honored Jaguar's new flagship, the Performance Luxury XJ Sedan. With styling drawn from the smaller XF, this coupe-like saloon has three powerful engines and a beautifully crafted interior. Come daylight at the LA Convention Center, Chevrolet announced the extended range Volt Hybrid will make California one of its first markets late next year. While everyone will get their new compact sedan, the 40 mile per gallon cruise this spring. Cadillac made the formal introduction of its delicious Cadillac CTS Coupe. And Buick marked the return of the Regal using Opel's award winning insignia as the basis for its first sporty sedan in decades. Also European in design are Ford's new Fiesta subcompacts. These frugal and youthful four and five doors will also arrive here next year. Alongside a revamped Ford Mustang, now with a 305 horsepower V6 as standard. Take that, Camaro. As to high performance, Dodge showed a bevy of Vipers as the current supercar enters its final year. Volkswagen arrived with a pair of global debuts. The latest up concept, the light, a four-seat hybrid diesel claims 70 miles per gallon. And the final edition VW New Beetle Coupe and Convertible, marking the end of one of motoring's most iconic designs. Prior to the show, sister brand Audi showed the A8, but shipped to LA the super sexy R8 Spider. Another German chop top world premiere was the Porsche Boxster Spider. Its twin bearings look great even if the flimsy top can't handle a car wash. Toyota showed the world its third generation Sienna. Now with a four cylinder standard, it continues as the only minivan available with all wheel drive. Honda took the quirky route with this personal Neo Urban Transport or Peanut concept. This sinister three seater is a guess at what city dwellers will drive a decade from now. Also from Japan is the new Mazda 2, a sporty subcompact ready to do battle with the Fit and Versa. Korea's new Hyundai weighed in with an all-new Sonata sedan with sleeker looks and a 200-horse direct-injection four-cylinder. A new compact Tucson crossover utility also appeared. And finally, on the eco front, the Audi A3 TDI was awarded Green Car of the Year honors. That's it from L.A. and for this week's Motor News.